Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of City Skylines, the British Challenge with me, Pug Gaming. So guys, in episode 27 we began work on the Outdoor Music Festival and we completed the first major uh, music stand and we're now, episode 28, going to move on to creating two more. We're going to start with this one here which is the smaller stage and we're going to work on a main stage after. Um, my idea at first was the first one we done in episode 27 was going to be the main stage but I've got a little treat in, in mind for what we're going to use as a main stage and I think it works absolutely amazing. But anyway, let's get into this first build. So this smaller stage, I was thinking more of a sort of country and western sort of theme here. So again, keep them with the hay bales and just make it a quite a cute sort of small stage. Nothing too heavy, nothing too big. It's just going to be a little one for the smaller artists, I guess, to be or the more unique artist music that not so many people will be attending. You'll often find anyway in these sort of outside music festivals you have sort of one or two big main stages and a few little ones around and I'm not saying we're only going to stick to these three these are going to be the only three with actual sort of pre-built um, stadium for what's not, not stadium um, stages for them um, we'll do a few other little sort of areas probably inside the actual tent which we can use um, and yeah we'll be creating some other areas around for sort of food and entertainment so we'll get onto that later, but what we're doing here, we're just adding some of the lighting effects and I must admit I've found this absolutely fascinating to add in all these lights. Lighting in sort of city skylines is not something that I have personally done much of and finding these ones in the workshop, these flashing lights and these sort of stage lights work brilliantly in this scenario. Now if you watched episode 27, you'll see I took full advantage of the Move It mod. In what I mean by that is using these new functions where you're able to lift up the lights, move them around and group them in together so you can move the whole thing in one go. And this is how I've been creating what I've done so far and this is how I've been able to create these custom lights etc. Now this isn't always easy. As you can see from here, not all of the props are lined up perfectly but in this scenario we don't really mind. One thing I did notice is if you do a line um, using one of the mods, if you then decide to rotate it does often pull the line off shape, um, which is a bit annoying but it is what it is so we all deal with it as it needs to be. So the next step now is to get some of these flashing lights on the front of the stage and I've had to do quite a bit of work on this in terms of getting the uh, lights functioning correctly as you can see sometimes when you place them down and use the line tool they don't always um, one don't always go in parallel with one another There's sometimes a couple off shape as you can see here but also the actual combination of the actual light colors sometimes is a bit too common so if you do a long line you can then pick and choose the best ones for it. So if you're doing this yourself I'd advise you use full advantage of all the angles within the uh, game itself. Sometimes if you're looking straight on it looks like it's perfectly aligned but then you go to the side view and you realize you're well in front of the actual object you're trying to put this into. So just keep rotating around, make sure you keep your finger um, on the button as well when you're moving these around. Um, when you release it seems that sometimes if you're putting things on top of things it's hard to then re-pick them up. So keep that in mind when you're working on your um, actual designs. And take full advantage of the Control and Z to undo what you've done. This is very helpful especially if you place um, place something on top of or into something and you can't quite pick it up again because sometimes it's hard to locate exactly where a small item is so if you use that it normally sets it back to the last point of your sort of click release so make sure you keep that in mind when you're doing so because that's a, a big help and it saves you having to delete all of the props just to get back to that, that one you're trying to move now it's time to get creative. We're going to now work on the main stage for this festival 
and I've decided to use this um, prop which is I believe one of the tunnels um, and it looks absolutely perfect for what I want to create here which is going to be the main centre stage so rather than using the sort of overpass um, signs to, bre to sort of breach that sort of idea we've gone with this and I think this is going to work out absolutely amazingly now one thing that is missing from the workshop and <laughs> I don't really feel that many people would have that idea but when you're doing the mu music festival you want to have speakers you want to have light boxes you want to have everything you possibly can to make it look realistic and unfortunately there's nothing on the workshop as of yet that resembles a sort of a, a speaker box sub box or something like that it's not obviously it's not something that everyone wants to build into their city but when you're detailing those little features and little additional um, props really will make a difference to your build so like I say we're gonna have to get creative in a way to sort of represent that in what we've already got and what's available in the workshop so I had an idea We've got these light boxes in both a small variation and a large variation as you can see here. And my idea was to use one of the large ones on the bottom to create the bottom speaker and then use the move it tool to add one on top. So you're kind of creating the look of a speaker. Um, and we can sort of make a rig up as they class them in the music world and have two next to each other and then put two more large ones on top as you can see here so this is my idea to create something that looks like a a speaker box something like that and also it just makes the stage well it will hopefully make the stage look a lot more appealing and a lot more like a stage rather than just well what it looks like at the moment So yeah, this is one thing I really do like about the whole Move It tool. I know I've spoken about it a lot, but it just game changes the whole the whole way you play this game. And especially for detailers, like I said before, having this ability to be able to make make something of nothing, or you know, these speaker boxes are just lights at the end of the day. They're just box lights, but just by adding two on top of each other it just gives you that sort of feeling of this looks like a speaker now and because it's based around the the environment you're building such as this as the music festival you automatically think that okay they're speakers so it's a bit like minecraft i guess in that sense um and you're able to create something that you can't actually get at the moment off the workshop so it's definitely a a great addition to this game and it's going to change the way people play this a lot more than people realize I think so here we go then just trying to plop this on top of one another to try and get it on as even as we can just like that and then we'll use the move it tool to highlight all items and move it over the only thing that is lacking not sure if this is possible but if you could copy and paste that would make life so much easier so what we're going to do now, just jump into a short time lapse just whilst I do a few more of these speakers around the other stages and we'll move on from there. Speak to you in a bit.
couldn't quite locate. So guys, there we go. We're just finishing the last few bits here. So what I did, as you can see in that time lapse, is I created a sort of an out part of the stage. You often see this on the main stages where the actual artist is able to sort of get into the crowd more, but on a safe environment. So I added one of these sort of platforms just coming out of it, just to add some ambience and make it look more like a main stage. Um, also a lot more of the lighting around and I also put two big screens either side. You normally tend to find them sort of for these uh, sort of main gigs on the main stage. You normally see at least two of them. Um, and also what I'm looking to do here is add some flags in the corners. And that's going to bring us on to the last part of this build. And that's pretty much making a light um, sort of fixing just for these lights to go on. So I was going to try and put them over the actual... Uh, curve of the prop we're using um, for the main stage but I didn't think that'll look too realistic so we're gonna do what we done on the first stage and just add these lights into the actual metal work just to make it look more realistic um, and make it look like it should do really so let's just get these all lined up so you can see it's not always possible to get every single one the same um, but I do find if you just play around with them with the uh, move it tool you can normally get them as, as good as as good as you can get um, for what for what's a, what what's available within the game so we're gonna just put these here bring this one forward slightly and I think that is pretty much as good as we're gonna get for that corner so we can do the same again on the right hand side, let's bring some more lights in and bring those up like so. Now just move these ones a bit further in and that's looking pretty good to me. Now just to add the last sort of three or so in this middle section. It's extremely quick as well to do this. Imagine doing this all freehand. Um, I know it would be possible before these mods were sort of brought to the workshop and brought to our to ourselves really, but it just makes life so much easier. You're pretty much doing the uh, the asset creation within the game, which just makes life a lot easier. You can be a lot more um, creative as well, and just opens up the game. So as we draw this episode to a close, um, I'm looking for your feedback, guys. The next step, obviously, we've got the main um, stages up now. The next step is going to be either a sort of a, a food area or just to get some of the foundations of the actual festival itself going. Um, I'm not sure whether to keep it grassy or to add some of the um, decor uh, sort of dirt and mud areas. Uh, I know festivals, certainly in, in the UK, tend to have a <laughs> tend to have a situation where it's always raining, and you're pretty much walking around with Wellington boots 
in the dirt and cold and mud. So do we go for something a little bit worn and torn like that or shall we keep the grass and make it more of a summer festival um, where it's nice and bright and beautiful. So let me know your thoughts guys. We'll just put this in here for the final part of this and we'll what I'll do is I'll give you an overview of what we've done today and we will catch up again in my next episode. Thanks for watching. All the best.